Behind me is my friend. <gasps> hey, how's it going? <laughs> we're back. We are. We're back, and we're bad. We're uh, we're here tonight at Tommy Rockers. We're uh, yep. exploring the the new Vegas of social spacing, and it's, yes. it's not bad. They've spaced the tables out. Uh, wait staff has masks. The yep. uh, bar staff has masks. So it's nice. Yeah. So I don't even know what we're going to talk about today, Jeff. We didn't even we didn't even talk about it. We didn't talk about what we are going to talk about. So we'll just wing it. We're going to spitball. So yeah, so I did some research, and turns out, you can come in here if you want to. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Of course. Keep going. Of course. So happened? he did we some got, research. We Sorry. got, uh, this is uh, the world known. Uh, oh, shit. You're what was your name? Oh, my it's God. okay. You're on right now. It's okay. Yes. Oh, my God. It's I'm okay. so sorry. Oh, we, have, we have a friend here. We're at the Magic Club. But we're gonna go over some stuff. But we're gonna we're gonna mix up the giveaway a little bit. We're gonna actually change it so when you actually comment with the first thirty minutes, when you comment on the video, uh, I'm gonna select someone in the comment section. All so right. you don't have to share anymore. You don't have to do anything technical. Yeah, and, just uh, comment. Yeah, just comment, and in the first thirty minutes. So we'll cool. go over the July Fourth giveaway. This is the uh, half inch snap on 25 inches and this is what we're giving away on july 4th so uh definitely leave a comment in the first 30 minutes i'll select one person and they'll be in the uh drawing for one of these tools so this is about 250 bucks and uh well it's awesome about the best you can get pro level stuff like jeff was saying that's right top there notch this is top what notch. this is what i used and i'll be honest with you I'm debating on commenting on this because uh, <laughs> I've already told Evan. I've been looking at this bugger. I really have. It's like you can comment. Oh, Jeff. I'm gonna com. Yeah. I'm gonna comment. It it's might. Random. It totally might random. be. Uh, I don't know. It might be a rude comment. So, yeah. It might be a smart ass comment. Yeah, yeah, I, Who knows? I, so I usually post uh, about five fifteen in the morning Vegas time. So if you're back east. That's eight, uh, three hours uh, later, so I'm five, six, this, seven, eight. So yeah, so and then we here we got the three eighth drive. Mm -hmm. This is being given away. This is the extra long handle. Inspires a lot of good confidence. Oh yeah. And uh, flex head ratchet, soft grip. Snap on. Snap on, and then he's so got the quarter. My, by the way, my yes. auto technician back in Albuquerque before I yes. moved out here. Of course, he swore by Snap On. He said he used other tools, and they, he almost lost his life or lost limbs because of other tools breaking. Wow, cheap, cheap tools. Definitely. So there you I go. Mean, There's an, uh, anyway, a there real there. world experience. Nice. How pro level. So for someone that's a do-it-yourselfer, it probably will probably last the rest of your life. I guarantee it will. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you could go. Hey, you could use this. This is, uh, this is Jim. What's yeah, happening? Jim, you can see it. It's been years. I, I know. Yeah. It's like decades. Yeah, yeah. So we're it's here really at the uh, Gary Darwin okay. Magic Club. This club's been Carlos, going so. for about so, 50 years, 53 years, and Gary just passed away. Uh, but we, we do our magic. Jeff's yeah. got his coins and, uh, and everything else. So we're just going to kind of relax tonight, just chit chat yeah. about. What's new and exciting happening at the shop and with Amsoil? We'll talk about that. Talk and, about uh, opening up. What what that means for everybody? Exactly. Yeah, we'll talk about that and and uh, we'll go over a bunch of stuff. If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Tap the notification bell. That way you'll be able to come back and watch all this later. And uh, and then also when we publish the new videos, always comment within that first 30 minutes. That's right. Be on it. Yep. Don't be late. 31 yep. minutes doesn't make it. Yep. Yep. 30 minutes. That's the new the new thing. I love it. And I then it. we also, not only do we have these three gorgeous ratchets, Woo! but we also got this universal kit. And this universal set's going to get given away as well. Oh, here, let me stage them all. I'll stage do like a, them, a universal fan. We have one, two, half inch, and three eighth and quarter. Boom! That's yes. the universal fan. Yes. And, uh, oh, you know, yeah. these tools are so good for getting the little nooks and crannies, um, all different types of things you just can't get to. Uh, that's what makes those so wonderful. <laughs> so uh, we're also here, I, I do a bunch of stuff with juggling. Oh, and yes. I do uh, all different types of uh, magic effects, comedy, you name it. <laughs> and one of them is... Uh, I have a pretty cool wallet here, and I got some nostalgia stuff. So we got the juggling balls. And uh, 
So how was your day today, Jeff? My, my day was actually fantastic. Um, stayed busy. We did some AC work. Crazy enough, we had um, three of the exact same motors come in. Two of them had the exact same problem. Wow. It was crazy. Um, I had a uh, Ford Expedition come in, and I had a, a F-150 come in. Both had blown out their spark plugs. Wow. So the older 5.4 liters, the uh, early, early 2000s, late 90s, I don't know if they weren't installed correctly or if they were torqued wrong or whatever, but they'll have a tendency sometimes to blow their spark plug out. Um, and it'll shoot or break the coil. I, I haven't ever seen it like go through the hood, but that's hard. I mean, it's it's bad, and all of a sudden you're pop 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 pop, and because you hear that cylinder, it's it's an unforgettable sound. You'll know it when you hear it. It is uh, unbelievable. But we have a repair that we can do in vehicle that doesn't require us to remove the cylinder head, because a lot of times when you're dealing with the cylinder. We have to machine that. Little metal particles are going to go down there. We have to be super, super careful. Make sure no metal shavings go down into the piston. Um, that we do a real clean job. When we put the insert in, that it's got the really good Loctite. Uh, we let it sit for uh, 12 hours or more. Wow. Make sure the Loctite cures. Because I don't ever want to see the customer have that problem again. Yeah. And every time we do that job, one of the additions we do is I always tell them, look, we could do just the one plug and the one hole and the one coil. But you don't know if it blew out this one are any of your other plugs working loose like what what could be going on so i always like to go through do all new set of uh, coil boots and then do all new set of spark plugs and send them on their way and now which vehicles usually have that problem uh specifically it's the uh, f-150s the f-250s and 350 all with the uh 5.4 liter with the VIN code is L. Yeah, L. That's the one on the Expedition, same yeah, one. Yeah, that is the one. Not wow. Yours is a different. You've got the three-valve Triton. Oh. You've got a one where the tune-up is just $500 because the plugs are pain in the ass to take out. I know. That's We're, funny. Just, just so you know, everybody who has an expensive tune-up sells their car right before it's due. That's a good bloopers I, job. I mean, it, it's I true. Love that. I get a lot of people that'll come in and say, "I just bought this car," and I'm like, "Okay, so you know, where'd you buy it from?" I'll find out if they got it from a used car lot, a named used car lot, which is like a like a Drive Time or a CarMax. Which I like. I actually like them, uh, or like a new car lot. So a new car lot, you can get more concessions when you buy a car. You worked at a car lot, right? Oh yeah. So if I came up to you buying a used car and I walked around kicking tires and said, you put a new set of skins and some brake pads on there, I'll buy the car. What do you do? Get, it, get the deal working. Right, you get the yeah, deal make working. Make it happen. Right, you tell them, look, I'll give you these two tires, you buy those two tires, and I'll throw on a set of brake pads. Boom, Bob's your uncle. Here's your Honda Civic. You got it. Well, but all he got was brake pads and tires. <laughs> there's transmission fluid, there's coolant, there's air filters. Now, the bigger dealerships do a really good job of reconning and changing the fluids for the most part. Your used car lots, I've been to some of them. I've never seen any used car lot that had more than one drum of oil, which is a single viscosity. I went to one place, all they had was 5W20. They put it in everything. It didn't matter. They didn't give a crap. 5W20. So change your fluids if you just got a new soon car, as you buy a or a car. used car. Yes. Unless Boom. unless Do you it. get it from somewhere and feel free to ask them, hey, what services did you do prior to selling me this car? Because every single car dealer well, they're not gonna tell you the truth though anyway. Yeah, but so they do have change. They've got a recon report though. That's they do, but that report could yeah. be a sloppy job because anyone that wants to get out of work early, what are they going to do, Jeff? Oh, they're going to skimp on them. They're going to skimp. Not in my shop. I know. They're going to stay late. Exactly. I made them stay late today, and I went home early. That's smart. Jeff is uh, he's cracking the whip, and he's getting things done. I like that, Jeff. And he's getting a lot of M's oil bought. Oh, my goodness. We have placed some old out. We have placed some monstrous orders and we wow. keep selling through them. Wow. I mean, we've done two really big orders back to back. We're not supposed to talk about numbers, right? We're not yeah. allowed to. But you're saying, though, Jeff, you're almost due for another order? Uh, I'm, I'm actually overdue for another order. Oh, my God, yeah. Jeff. I need, to wake up. I need to wake up tomorrow and make the order first thing so I can have it by Friday. Holy cow. Got to be stocked up. I'm, I'm running really low on Signature Series, OE. Wow. I think I need some more PI. Oh, life is... That's great. I'm, 
Uh, I would say uh, another six pack of uh, Giro. Wow. Another six quarts of uh, 7590 Severe Gear. Wow. Hell yes. So we got some nostalgia here. Ooh, I, oh my god, I know most of those places. Like Holy shit. Give them the display, Jeffrey. Oh. Start out with number one. Okay, Tell numero uno. Okay, so this is the showboat. <laughs> the showboat used to be on the corner of Boulder Highway, Charleston, and Fremont. There's this cool little intersection. For many, many, many years, they had some of the biggest bowling leagues in town all went to the showboat. Wow, I didn't even know that. Yeah. My, I actually, I know a lot of Vegas history. I love Vegas history. Now, Jeff, how many years have you been here? I consider myself a local. I've been coming out to Vegas since 1987. Holy cow. I, I was seven. Wow. But my uh, my family, we have friends out here. Crazy, crazy story. So my friends lived right around Boulder Station. If you're familiar with the area, we're right over by Boulder Station. My wife, who I hadn't met yet, lived across the street from where we used to go to visit. So I was within a half a mile of my future wife when I came to Vegas every single time. That's amazing. Right? It, and I met her. I didn't even meet her in Vegas. I met her. I was, uh, it was my roommate's friend in Kansas. And she Oops. called my room and it's long story, cute story, but we're married. It's beautiful. So, all right. So that's the, the, the world famous showboat. Boom. Yes. Also changed to Castaways. After they took down the showboat, they turned it to Castaways. Wow. So, all right, what's next? What's next? Give me Here some nostalgia. Here's Woody. Ooh, all right. Howdy, partner. Historic Pioneer. Oh, the Pioneer Club. Look at that. Pioneer Club's beautiful. That's one of the wonderful free Show him Woody up close. Oh, there you go. Oh, look at him. There's some wood. And if you go downtown, this is the guy you see on Las Vegas Boulevard. This is that cowboy right there at Fremont Street. Uh, Pioneer Club, one of the oldest casinos in town. I mean, everything on Fremont, that's ancient. Oh, this is fun. There we go, next one. Man. All right, next one. What do we have here? Do, 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 do. The Ormsby House and Casino. Nevada's capital. Carson City. Look at that. Show them how fresh those are. Voyager. Wow. Oh, they still even smell good. Look, Look at, at that. that. Now, I'm going to tell you that this is really old. And the reason I can tell you it's really old is um, this has a 702 phone number on here. Wow. And, yeah, 702, I don't know when they adopted the second, uh, the second area code here of 775. But, wow, I don't know this one. Hit me. Imperial Palace, wow, another wonderful, wonderful downtown. Um, it's, uh, well, shit. What is, oh, it's the home of the Auto Antique Collection. Yeah. Yes. So let's see how fresh these are. Nice oh, and virgin. And it tells you everything it's got inside. There's the entire list of amenities. How cool is that? So if you want to, you could puff on your cigar. Sit there and look to see where you're going next. Close up your matchbook and walk on out. All right, pull out one that I know. Let's see. Give me a good one. Give me a good one. Ah, the oh. one that's been in all the movies. Hell yeah. So there are, uh, there's two pepper mills. I go to the pepper mill and the pepper mill lounge here in town. All right. It is such a chill spot. You go back there, they have this... They have this fire pit that uh -huh. looks like it has broken glass inside of it. And it's this nice blue, yellow, real soft fire. The ambiance, it's all nice low tones. Like uh, it's got blues and purples and deep reds. Oh, and then they have the Pepper Mill Casino up in Reno. And Reno's the biggest little city. And uh, Pepper Mill is a pretty big deal. Yeah, it's a pretty big casino up there. So you know what, Jeff? We're going to give them a little entertainment. I like entertainment. Here we go. All right, show me. Look at that. Oldest trick in the book right there. Watch. Oh, God. He's going to burn himself, Eva. Eva, don't burn yourself, please. Please. Wait a minute. <laughs> you didn't burn yourself. Completely gone. How the hell? That's awesome. And it smells like matches. So, uh... They're magic. See. Have you gone down to Fremont Street yet? 
It's uh, open. I haven't went back yet, Jeff. Haven't gone back Good yet. old memories. I used to do magic on Fremont. Do you ever go and hang out there? I do. Okay. I used to love it. No, how about it. now? Uh, not lately, but I would though. Yeah. I would. I like going down there. I got a couple things that I do down there. There's a good friend of ours, Michael Mayfield, who has a. Uh, I, I was proud. I got to perform there, but he's got a venue called Late Night Magic at the Neonopolis. That's awesome. Oh, it was fun. You were we there. Yeah, we it was. That. Oh my God, it was the last night to go out. Me, even uh, a bunch of my family and, and a bunch of our friends were out there, and it was wonderful. I got to do some close-up magic. Um, I got to go on stage a couple of times. That was freaking awesome. There was a, a Anna Anna Rose Jeff the hypnosis. Hypnotized. Oh man, it was cool. Was some awesome. vi- there's some videos of me looking like this. <laughs> that was a blast. So uh, yeah, and uh, I also go down there. They've got that little arcade, the video game place. I take my daughter. Uh, we go play video games. So downtown is really developing. So next time you visit Vegas, definitely yeah. check it out. What we'll do is we'll quick show you the strip here where we're at. Oh yes, yeah. Oh my God, yes. View. Holy shit. Up in the background. Yes, we, I, the Link and Caesar's Palace and the Bellagio. Yeah. And a Red Bull case. Oh. Yep. So here we go. We'll show you the background where we're at. So there's Jeff. We flip right behind, and boom, there's the strip. So we got Bellagio right here. That's the one with the fountains that are the most famous in the world. And then Caesar's Palace is right here. And then the Link Wheel, that's the huge wheel that they have in London, but they have it here. And then you got the Mirage. That's the Mirage right there. And that one is an unknown palace. And that's where Siegfried and Roy was. And then you can see the E for Encore. That's uh, Win Las Vegas. And that is the strip. And down there, you're seeing the freeway. That's the 15 over there where those cars are whizzing by. And uh, that's where we're at. So we're here at Tommy Rockers. And we meet up here every Wednesday for the Magic Club, which is a lot of fun. And uh, we just do it all while we're here. We just hang out and relax. Do magic for each other. Yep. And it's just about giving and back and having loads of fun. Especially having loads of fun. Yep. It's Good old. Real, this is a treat for us because we have been... Uh, We've been a little bit cooped up, so to speak. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, been itching to get out. Obviously, we have to be responsible. And, you know, in my uh, in my go bag, we also politely refer to this as my man purse. Let's give, let's give a tour of the man let's purse. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys. Let's do it. So let's start with the main compartment. The main compartment of my man purse. Let's see what we have. This is really a show in a bag. I've got... Uh, two decks of cards. I got a wallet. Working hands, so my hands are nice and supple for coin work because I have mechanic hands. Mechanic hands suck for coin work. When your hands dry out, your coins don't work as well, right? Play with your coin, Jeff. Of course you may, my friend. Ah. All right, so let's see. I've got a mask. This is in case of emergencies. Oh, my God. I've got my Joe Reed and Fleish rubber bands. I do some rubber band magic. Uh, let's see here. Ah, AirPods. Never leave home without it. Backup battery. This is my uh, this is my portable phone charger. It's uh, made by a company called Anchor. You've used this one before. This thing's That's amazing. Great. Yeah. Oof. Let's see what else we got. Uh, I don't have my packet tricks anymore. I got. Uh, <laughs> I got a thumb tip. Got a thumb tip. Everybody's got to have a thumb tip. See, thumb tip. <laughs> yeah, tip is see. all thumbs tonight. Oh man, let me tell you. All right, so that's that compartment. Now let's go to the next one. This right here, it's kind of obvious what it is, but sponge balls. Ooh, I like me some sponge. Those are great. That's right. And this side, because uh, I know even doesn't like marker tricks, marking on cards, you got to have that well, one. Well, I, I just don't mm-hmm. use markers, but it, I still fair. like them. Though, no, yeah. Okay, all right, fair yeah. enough. So I do use markers, and I, you know, I got my clicks. I got a pen. Apple Watch charger. Oh, that little piece of Jeff plastic. Jeff is all thumbs tonight. Thought, look, thought, wait. <laughs> Butter thumbs. That's three thumbs. Four, five. All right, so is that funny. is that is the man purse, the magic bag, the satchel, whatever you'd like to call it. I'll tell you, you know what this is? Every single time I go to a restaurant, I get free dessert. comes right out of this bag. I always tell the waitress to say, look, I'm going to do a magic trick for you. 
if I can fool you, you bring your manager over and I'm going to fuck your mind up. Yeah. And then I'm going to get free dessert. I've gotten free dessert. I've gotten 15% off my meal. I've gotten a single meal comp before. Jeff, don't tell him everything. Okay. You can't do that on this channel. No. Jeff, this don't is, tell him everything. This is how to get... I already... Guess what the name of this show is. What? How to get free food at a restaurant. I like that, Jeff. Boom. There you go. Right here. Look, we look. We figured it out this while is we're it. doing it. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. I found it. It was up. They had it. That's you had good, it. Jeff. That's good That'll one. get you free, free dessert. dessert. Free I dessert right, right there. Jeff is genius. Thank you, Jeff, for yes. coming up with it on this spot. Absolutely. And we're doing that because we're just kind of unloading the yeah. whole week. Yeah. Just relax in midweek. I feel like this is kind of like we've been pent up the last three months. We've been by this. We, we, they just, we just got let out of the box. We did, and I feel so much Oof. better, Jeff. I feel I like do. giving Deep you a big impressed. old bear hug. Oh. But I don't want anyone to think otherwise with this pink shirt. But I tell you what, the reason it's pink is because of this video up here in the corner. Check it out. That video. The Oh Humpy Bed Van. Oh yes. Our, Remember that video, our Jeff? Favorite with that freaking folks. pink. Oh. Remember that silly yes. stuff. Yes. We did the 26,000 mile oil change with that sucker. We did the power foam. One of the best power foam videos. That thing was I a know. smoker. That was so much fun, Jeff. Oh, that oh. and then the uh, Stevens Toyota. The Toyota uh, 4Runner. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the freaking uh, 300,000 some odd top. Yeah. And a power foam. Oh, my God. Oh, man. And I did the, this timing kit, too. I did this timing belt, water pump, all that kind of stuff. Wow. So. You just did it all. Yeah. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, absolutely. Jeff's taking care of everyone in the community. And he had someone call today. Who called? Uh, you know what? I The, name, is, the name escaped me. A uh, gentleman called, said he was here in town, wants to come get his vehicle serviced. Wow. And uh, he was asking about, you know, Amzo Signature Series. And I believe he had asked a question about uh, the coolant. So he's got, I just told him, I said, hey, come on down. I'll show it all to you on the shelves. We'll rap about it. I'll pull, maybe I'll pull out a pamphlet and show you some numbers and shit. Or I'll just tell you about it. You know. Oh, Jeff, when they see the quality, Jeff, they don't ask questions. They just come over and get it done. Now, you can stick your head up a cow's ass to see if he's got a good T-bone. Or you could just take the butcher's word for it. How do you like it? I'll take his word. All right. Where do I sign? I love it. You've seen that movie. I you love know? that. that is, I love that oh, shit, Jeff. I love Tommy that. Tommy Boy. So you got you to give credit. True I love comedy. Tommy Boy. Oh. Physical comedians are some, for me, some of the most powerful ones. And physical doesn't necessarily mean like a Chris Farley where they fall down. I look at like a uh, Rodney Dangerfield. He's a physical comedian because he can make his, his eyes do it. Give me your favorite Rodney Dangerfield joke. I one. just flew in from Vegas, and boy, are my arms tired. Take my wife. Jeez. That's, that's, that's my best. I don't even think that's that good. But yeah, I'll go with it. Yeah. Should I give him my dirtiest one from Fremont? Oh, please. Let's do this. Is, is, is this some right. Don Rickles? Uh, this one I got out of a dirty, dirty joke book. Oh, I like the name of it. I don't know who wrote it. I mutated a little bit. but Of course. It's good. Right, go so for here it. Here we go. If there's any kids watching or someone sensitive to risque material, turn the film off now. Here, right, here we go. All right. So I'm downtown on Fremont Street, and I'm minding my own business, and this big old sloppy hooker comes on to me, and she says, Hey, sugar, you want to have a good time? And I said, Fuck yeah, let's go. So we go to No Tell Motel. She starts undressing herself real quick, and I'm just staring at her, looking at her, bug eye and uh, she goes well what's the matter sugar hadn't you seen a puss like this since you crawled out of one and I said no it's not that I've I've just never seen one big enough to crawl back into <laughs> so that's downtown for you I love it you like I love it oh. and then the other one is I was sitting there at a Starbucks one day minding my own business and uh, I'm drinking my frappuccino and I get bumped in the arm and this one hooker says to her friend, she goes, you know, Gina, it's going to be a good night tonight. I can smell cock in the air. And she goes, no, Martha, I burped. So that's downtown for you. So keep your 
pecker in your pants, watch it down there, they'll try to wrangle so, you by your shown. So even had a dirty joke book, and that's your first, I think your first joke book might be important to how your uh, your humor develops. Well, I've always liked blue humor, okay. and that's the risque dirty See, joke. So that's for me, like. it's always been, I like the subliminal, maybe a little bit snarky, but definitely subliminal. And I had this book when I was a kid, it was a... Uh, the worst insult book is what it was called and it had really quick ones like a penny for your thoughts would be a tremendous overpayment just real right in the guts i mean my favorite one i use this all the time that's good Jim. this one when there's nothing left to say you're still saying it i like it it's beautiful they're just little now, jeff do you have any material you've wrote yourself <sighs> you know what i mean i have my own version of the aristocrats but i can't tell that on here I just said a dirty one. I don't know what you mean by aristocrats. Uh, uh, <laughs> dirtiest joke. So the aristocrats. I'm going to give you guys a little taste, okay? The aristocrats is a joke that comedians tell to each other, like legit ass comics, right? Guys. Who, All right. So they might not get it. They're not a comedian. No, it's ruthless. It's it's vile. I, I'll tell it to you later, and then All you right. can tell yeah. me whether or not I'll tell it on the next show. All right. You're probably going to say no, but that's okay. Um, you know, a lot of my jokes are... Uh, I got my favorite joke. You okay? have one you wrote? I you do. Wrote? I have Let's one that I've worked on for a very long time. So uh, I like a lot of reality places I've been. You know what I mean? So I had a friend. He went to work out at a mine. Now, if you've ever been to a mine out in Nevada, there ain't shit. You are surrounded by desert. There's a mountain. There's a couple of holes in it. Nothing to do. So the guy gets done mining all day, gets back down to the mine camp. Mine camps really aren't much other than a couple of trailer houses and a, a mess hall to eat at. So he's like, dude, what, what do we do for fun? Yeah, he's like, I have no idea. He's like, well, let me tell you what you're going to do. Over yonder in that uh, field, you see that barrel? Yeah, I see the barrel. Just go over there, pull your pecker out, stick it in the barrel, let the barrel do the rest, come back and tell me how it was. Guy goes over there, pops it out, sticks it in. Just... Best barrel ride of his life. Right? Goes back. He's like, my God, Jim, I'm going to be there every day. And he says, Mr. Magic. Every day except for Tuesday. He said, well, why not Tuesday? Because that's like your day in the barrel. Mr. Magic uh, LV on Instagram. Right? That's right. That's the one. I like it. What's He's happening? been on the channel many times. Yeah, looks like a baby. Looks like a young boy. Well, both yeah. of us, we, we Get both got belly. We're donating the uh, hair. We're going to be making a wig out of it, so you'll see You're that video hair? coming. No. Oh, okay. I, oh, yeah. I donated. I, I know you did. That's... I donated my hair to a, a plumber's drain snake. I don't know. Oh, it's just oh my way. God. That's, I'm actually, if you like see him, I'm, I'm scruffing up a little bit. <laughs> um, my barber's back in, back in operation, so I, I'm saving up a few days. I'm going to go and... I'm gonna get my uh, my shave and a haircut. She did, oh, straight edge, hot lather towel, thirty bucks. Nice. Yeah, beard trim and thirty bucks. Thirty bucks. Eh, you don't have a face. Fifteen dollars. <laughs> that price. I I really do feel unfortunate. I don't think you could grow a beard, can you? Is it patchy? It's just it's just here it's solid, solid, and then here it's just not. We could but do some real interesting designs, though. I could easily. Yeah, a little yeah. P.T. Barnum going. I just, I just never been into the beard. That's fair. But there's people that look good with the beard. There's people that don't. Yeah. I've always looked better with the longer hair and without a beard. That's fair. Just hey, go with the flow. You got to know. Definitely look older with the longer hair. Yeah, you got to go with the flow. But uh, there, I only uh, came up with one card joke. All right. This is it. Oh, I know this one. This here, it's called the waterfall. I showed it to a sophisticated Asian gentleman the other day. And you know what he said? He said, what the fa?" So that's my only joke. It's a little silly. That's all right. Yeah. I've, got, I've got a plethora of dad jokes. Give him a couple. I've been given. So a guy walks into a bar and he says, ouch. It's my favorite one. Um, that's not a dad joke, Jeff. Well, it pretty much it's is. It's a dad joke. This is a dad joke. You know what? This so is a dad, dad joke. joke. No, or dad. D-A-D. Dad. 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 Dads tell retarded jokes. Watch. So kids always come up. The first joke a child learns is... Knock, knock. Knock, knock jokes. So this is how you dad interact tell with... Dad retarded it. jokes. You're funny, do, Jeff. Do you know You're any funny. knock, knock jokes? Do you? Okay. Go ahead. What is it? Knock, knock. Come in. 
That's good. You're fucking done. That's good. <laughs> My kids just, they don't, good, like yeah. after five times, they don't do dog like touches. I, I, I like that. I, I, I have to use it on my daughter. Yes. You're, de- you're making them develop real jokes. Knock knock joke, unless it's the interrupting cow. That's, that's the only good knock knock joke, is the interrupting cow. Well, the only, only one I heard was, uh, the only one I heard is joke is knock knock. Who's there? Gestapo. Gestapo who? I'll ask the questions. That's the only one that I've I'm ever okay heard. with that's that. That's a dad joke too. That is, yeah. That's a dad joke. Even though you're dad, not a dad, that's a dad, dad joke. Dad jokes work out to be corny. They can be a little dirty, but they will not come off that way to the child. It's oh, really, it's like a saying, la- you're not saying any right. F it's words a, or nothing. No, yeah. it's a layer cake. It's like The Simpsons. You can watch two different Simpsons when you're a kid. You watched it. You watch it again as an adult. It's not the same show. I like that, Jeff. You're smart. I heard a good one the other day. It's Ooh, not a dad joke. It's kind of dirty, but it's not. Go ahead. Go so, ahead. We're uh, doing our escape. In the, in the military, you know, I you know, had a little hearing loss. And, okay. What? Uh, um, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I've got about 30% hearing in my right ear. Okay. And I was at the um, grocery store in the checkout, and this woman uh, was next to me, and she was telling the, the, the cashier that she was allergic to peanuts, and I completely misheard that. <laughs> Yeah, I completely miss her. And so, and so I, I said, well, what did the doctor tell you? You know, I, I, actually, I said, what happens? Yeah. And she says, um, there's an awful swelling in my mouth. This is that horrible? I, I said, that, that doesn't really sound that good. And she said, no, it's awful. I said, what did the doctor tell you you needed to do? And she said, I need to build up a tolerance. I said, I'm your man. <laughs> Good God, man. That's awesome. That is awesome. So a uh, guy walks into the bar, right? He sits down. He looks up. He looks up at the sign, right? The sign says, "Beer, five dollars. Hand jobs, five dollars. Ham sandwiches, five dollars." Fair enough. Waitress comes up. What do you want? You the one that. Uh, it gives the hand jobs? No. Go back and make me a sandwich. <laughs> yes. That's good, yeah. That's good. Did they turn out okay? Oh, it's fantastic. So, uh, what else we got? I, I think that's kind of it as far as... <laughs> Shit. That wraps it up, Jeff. I, I think we wrap it up. the numbers. Joke? All right, so... Uh, I don't have any numbers. I'll leave you guys to uh, it. Fair <laughs> enough. Thanks, <laughs> Wayne. Yeah. So numbers we're talking about. If you need to get a hold of me, get me by the text line at 702-907-9227. If you got to call the shop, easy peasy. 7023, it spells out lube, 433 lube. But here's the thing. You can't call me at 2 o'clock in the morning. But if you need to talk to somebody, that's me. Even your host here. Call me up anytime. I'll take care of you. You can text me anytime. 702-472-3614. 702-472-3614. One more reminder, if you are uh, want to be in the giveaway for July 4th, go ahead and put a comment in the first 30 minutes of the video when it's uploaded, and I will randomly select someone uh, to be in the uh, giveaway for every video. So definitely subscribe, tap the notification bell. These are all the brand new Snap-on tools, and uh, we're going to be giving them away July 4th. So we don't have many people in. We're also giving away $300 gift cards. So there's going to be a lot of winners. We and, only got uh, we only a, got a, another week or two. Yeah, another two, two another two three weeks. Two, you three better weeks. get on it. Yeah, comment and get your also videos. we do a uh, evens giveaway every last Saturday of the month. So yep. we give a couple hundred bucks in gift cards away too. So that's uh, the next one's going to be coming up here at the end of the month. But the July 4th one is very American, and that's yeah. for all the special people that have been a huge part of the channel, helping out, sharing. Maybe we'll and, go. Uh, uh, maybe we'll go blow some stuff up. Maybe we'll bring. Have to, See, here, here's the thing. Now, since we are pre-recording it, yes. guess what? We can go anywhere we want and in the middle of the desert and blow some shit up. Smart, Jeff. I'm not going to tell you how we're going to do it, but we're going to have some damn fun for the Fourth of July. I feel like. We should put a disclaimer at the beginning of our video. It's going to be so much fun. You know what? This sounds interesting, Jeff. I'm in. All right. I'll bring the crowbar. Well, cheers.
All right, here Dude. it is. Ready? Evans giveaway. Boom. Cheers. Cheers. To, to protection, 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 protection. We'll see you back next week. See you later, guys.